and welcome along and welcome back to the old farm countryside uh, where you can see here we've got the hired worker going and uh, and our truck on course play and that is finishing off the potatoes uh, we're gonna have to come back here and sort it at the minute because uh, at the moment, we've got a widening gap, and this is going to sort of sort this way down. But we're going to leave these doing this because today we want to head over and grab our fence here. Uh, we're going to drop the front weight off it. And what we're going to do is go and get our next piece of equipment. Now, our next piece of equipment is a cedar. We want to get, uh, we want to, get to work on our fields. Uh, let's grab the right bit. We want to drop our triangle off because we're going to go and get a cedar with a front box as well uh and we're basically we're con contemplating uh, we're concentrating on a planter at the moment we're actually gonna get a planter because the two things we want to plant are soybeans uh, which is one of the most profitable if not the most profitable uh crops in game and cotton, because of course we have this cotton harvester kicking about that we still need to pay for. Uh, that we still need to uh, meet our costs for. So that's where we're going to start today. We've got 4,152. So uh, we're still going on the whole thing of renting equipment. Uh, we're going to be hiring this cedar. It's Again, it's not something we use massively. Uh, we're going to be using it on a, on a on an infrequent basis. Makes sense for us to see it. It's uh, for us to uh, to borrow it, to lease it. Uh, as a result, uh, we're going to make far more money off the crop than we are going to. It's going to cost us to actually lease this uh, for a time. Uh, and if we pick the right one, it will do it at a fair speed. So. Let's pop into the shop and see what our options are. So we are looking here at uh, planters uh, and sort of for our tractor, if we have a look at our tractor, we have 195 horsepower. So the Solitaire we can easily do. Uh, the Vatstad we can easily do. That I think holds more than that. Uh Oh, we can actually do the Horsch Maestro. That is quite a good one. Uh, the Vadstad Tempo is unfortunately out of our range, uh, as are yeah, as are the other Horsch ones. So uh, I think we should go for the biggest we can, which is the Maestro here. Now we didn't need to actually drop our front weight off. Interestingly, uh, we won't need the front weight, but good to know in future we can leave our triangle on and not worry about it. So. 93,000 to purchase this. Uh, we're not going to do that. We are going to hire it. It's a nice 9 meter one. So this will, this will do things fairly quickly. Uh, if I go back, what we can plant with this. Uh, we can plant cotton. We can plant soybeans. We can also plant sunflowers and uh, corn. So uh, I think we might look at getting a corn header. Um, and, uh, and we can also plant sugar beet, but we're not looking to do that at the moment. So let's, uh, let's lease this. We don't have enough money. Oh, right. So we are going to have to borrow some cash to do this leasing. Not a problem. We have plenty of cash left. So we're going to borrow, I'm going to borrow 20, uh, 10,000, sorry, because we need to also fill this up with some seed. So let's lease this now. Yep, there we go. And then we also want to get some seeds. Now, what I want to try is there's a new seed option in here, I think. It's not here. It's here. Pallets. Bags are used to refill sewing bean sheets. So I want to get... Uh, we've got 2,100 litres for 1,800. How does that compare to the big bags? Nine thousand for it's, it's actually cheaper to do this. So in looking in our garage, how much leased items? We really don't own much. Uh, our maestro that takes a nine thousand liters. So that would be about ten thousand pounds to fill the whole thing up. We're not going to fill the whole thing up because I don't think we need to. We are going to get five of these, though. So one, two, 
three, four, five. There we go. And let's go fill this up. So there we are. I'll turn our tractor back on. So yeah, this uh, this uh, fed will easily pull this, thankfully. Uh, and then we'll refill this. And I'll get these refilled and we'll head off up to the field. So something I didn't realise um, was that, of course, uh, all of that space actually also covers... Uh, the fact that it takes solid fertilizer. But at the moment, it seems to be refusing to fill up with it. So let's see if we can sort of get this into doing it. Interestingly. Which is full at the moment? Yeah, so we've got the seeds full. So let's switch over. So this should be solid fertilizer that goes in here. Yeah, there we go. So this takes 7,000 liters of solid fertilizer. Uh, and unfortunately, we've kind of run out of money a little bit. No. Switch over, please. There we go. won't fill that up. Why will it not fill it up with this front one here? I think we need to uh, get the other side of it and hopefully there we go. Right, so yeah, we kind of need to sell those bags. We don't have enough at the moment. We are going to have to borrow a little bit more money as a result of this which is very annoying uh, but uh, it's kind of necessary. So solid fertilizer bag and these are expensive per thousand liters there we go we do have the big bags as well uh, and if i had the right thing to uh, to use on the my words right we'll refill with some more of this so we're going to do uh, four thousand liters of this hopefully that will be enough to do our fields and there we go. We're nice and full up. So let's take this down to our field uh, and get ourselves nicely, hopefully, uh, planting some cotton. Because that is what we're going to target first. Down at field 31. And let's go line ourselves up with the far end of the field, I think. Nice nine meter cedar. So this does require, I don't think this is a direct cedar. We'll find out in this corner because we, as you can see there, the corner isn't quite fully done. Uh, it'd be nice if this is direct cedar, but I'm not 100% sure it is. There aren't many planters actually that are direct cedars. So we'll turn it on, drop it down and away we go. Yeah, so this is not a direct cedar. I'm not overly surprised by that. Don't believe... No, we don't have GPS on this tractor. That uh, would be nice, but uh, yeah, not something that we've got on it. Uh, but we are getting the cotton in, which is good. And the fertilizer seems to be going down at an, uh, a fairly slow rate. So I'm intrigued to see how quickly the fertilizer goes down in relation to the seed. Uh, if the fertilizer doesn't go down too quickly, then we don't need to worry about filling it up uh, that often. Uh, so I'm hoping it's not going to be too bad. Right, so I want to do a full width on the headlands. So there we go. And around. It's getting it in the right place. Okay, so we've got too big an overlap there. This is where something like GPS or the guidance steering mod comes in really nice and handy. Uh, we do, of course, have um, markers on this we could use. But I'm not... The trouble is, I am just as bad using those. Right, there we go. Let's pull this back to 90 degrees. 
So I think GPS is going to be a, an important purchase on this tractor pretty soon, uh, considering uh, how much we're doing with it and how much it would aid us in getting jobs like this done pretty quickly or a lot quicker uh, than we otherwise would. Uh, so I think we're going to look at investing in that pretty soon. Uh, We've got more money now than we did when we started today. So that's a good thing. But we have borrowed. And we've borrowed about 20000 so far. Uh, anyway, I am going to get this done. And dusted. And uh, and yeah, we'll see where we go from there. And we'll see we'll see actually how far this these seeds go. And, uh, and we can go from there and, uh, and move forward. We're about two rows from the end now, maybe three, uh, and yeah, it's not gone to, down too quickly. So we've, we've used about a third of our seeds. Um, we've, we've actually not used that much fertilizer. So I am not at all worried about the fact that we haven't got a full thing of fertilizer in here. Uh, that's, actually, uh, that's actually not gonna be a problem for us what we are going to be able to do is because of the size of this seeding uh, we're actually going to be able oh, to plant it sorry uh, we're actually going to be able to do the entire f uh, all three fields i think with this uh, this is by far our biggest field that we own uh, which is why we're putting the cotton in it because we will make we'll make money that will easily play pay for our cotton harvester uh, with this field wow Oh, we're not quite wide enough. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so we'll easily make enough money to pay for our cotton harvester with this field. Uh, which is exactly why we're putting the cotton in here. What we... Uh, so we, we'll be able to put soybeans in our other two fields. And that will that is just going to mean that we get a whack load of money when it comes to harvest. Uh, I love that it's got the solid fertilizer in it. That is uh, that really helps us as well. It means we actually have to lease less equipment uh, to do the same number of jobs. And uh, and yeah, we should make uh, from using this piece of kit quite a bit of money as a result. So I'm going to go down and do the far start at the far end of the headland here. There we go little bit over the crop but never mind i really want to actually extend into the old uh, into the farm here. i didn't notice actually there are farm buildings still to the north of where the uh, normal placeable farmyard is interestingly enough so you could set yourself up in uh, in what i suppose would be a set of abandoned buildings Uh, not what we're after though. We uh, we quite like where we are. I, I, yeah, I really like where we are actually. Uh, field 34, once we're able to buy it, is going to make an absolute superb base for our farm. Uh, and with any luck, what we'll be able to do is come and buy this yard here. Or this area here. And uh, and make a good, uh, a good field set up at it. It's interesting that you can see that the, where the level sort of slopes down so uh, there might be some landscaping we have to do to make that a, a useful field but it's gonna take a wee bit of work uh, before we can buy that now I'm hoping the cotton is gonna pay well for us I know the cotton price has gone up since the game came out so with any luck we're gonna uh, we're gonna do fairly well off this Right, let's get this headland done and then we're going to move on to our next field which as i said is going to be soybeans uh, off our other two so spin this round press it up and into position down we go and away we go fantastic So yeah, this is our cotton in, ready for, uh, well, we're going to have to fertilize it and we're going to have to weed it. So we've got that. And it looks like our uh, potato harvester is having a problem. So while 
I'll turn this off and fold it up. Let's go and have a look at how that's progressing. So yeah, it seems that the truck gets into a position with this that just is in the way. Don't know why that happens. But it, it just seems to want to park at a position that is just not useful. We've switched to soybeans and we're heading to field 33 now. Uh, this field should not take us very long. It's... Uh, about half the size, I think. I oh, know, actually, it's it's fairly similar in size to our other field. So uh, yeah, not too bad. Uh, we should get again. We should get a nice, decent amount of crop off here. Then, uh, hopefully, make a decent amount of money. It's field four that is the small one, the one that is not quite as big as uh, as our other fields. And therefore is the one that tends to run, um, uh, the one that, that hasn't made us as much money with the corn. Just looking at it, yeah, it is about, uh, it's, it's maybe two thirds the size of field 31. Field 31 is our largest, field 33 is only slightly smaller. And then uh, field four is, uh, is, definitely, uh, is definitely significantly smaller than field 31. Uh, so cotton should be good in here. Uh, it's the whole expansion of this field I'm interested in. Uh, this field has the potential to be our biggest field. Uh, once we get 34, we can expand this south uh, as uh, we build our farmyard even further south of it, uh, which is our long-term plan. We'll rip up our tent because we're gonna. Uh, we'll put a uh, farmhouse in the other side of our uh, yard. Just a bit of a gap at the end there. Never mind. Uh, and uh, and yeah, that will uh, that will then give us a good standing, a good position uh, for this because this field uh, this field would expand out and we might what i'd eventually like to do is encompass field 35 into it so make a really nice big field uh so the basic plan long-term plan uh, is for field 31 to be merged with what would have originally been the yard just to the north of it field 33 and 35 or well, 35 to sort of be, get split in half um with half of it being merged here with 33 um, and 34, oh, the top half of 34, and then the bottom half uh, will be grass and yard. So it's uh, basically reshaping this whole part of the map to, uh, to match how we want our farmyard to be. Uh, but it's all a little bit long term, simply because we need... Well, we need to, to earn some cash first, really. I think one of the next big upgrades we're going to have to do is getting GPS on this tractor. It's painful uh, doing this without GPS. Uh, what we could do... There we go. Is put the markers down. So if we keep nice and straight, then we have a, a marker we can adhere to. see if that helps us but it's uh yeah i'm always uh, always a bit iffy about the markers so let's lift that one up lift up that as well put the marker down and you can see yeah unless you go straight on the previous row the marker isn't hugely useful and i know we need a certain amount of overlap here to make this work there we go. Right, so down it goes, and away we go. And basically, I'm just going to try and use the compass and keep it at 270. We get a nice straight line on here. That will make uh, the whole thing fairly unnecessary. The trouble is, as you can see, we definitely drifted on this last run. So we're going to have to come back and fix that. 
Uh, and yeah, but even now we're drifting. But yeah, whoa, look at that gap. That is quite a drift. On our last run. Anyway, I am going to get the soybeans into this field and get this done. Uh, and then we will have just one field left to do once this is finished. Uh, and uh, which is field four, which will not take us very long uh, once we've uh, once we're done. I've switched to using the ridge markers, and you know what? Works really well, especially if you're in cab, um, which isn't surprising because it's uh, it's sort of very realistic. Uh, but it's uh, yeah, it's putting it down the middle of the nose, uh, you know, putting the nose of the tractor down the ridges here actually working really well actually helping me to keep everything straight and uh, and yeah and adding that extra level of realism to it as well absolutely useless though out out of cab um, I'm uh, I'm really really struggling uh, to keep it straight when I'm not and not in cab like this uh, the other thing is we are swiftly losing light now it is uh, it is half past, or it's gone, it's now 20 to 8 in the evening uh, on the map. And, uh, and yeah, as you'd expect, we are losing the light fast. However, I do want to get all of these in today. So it looks like we're going to be doing this into the night. But that's alright, uh, seeding into the early evening is not an issue. Right, going to fold all of our markers up because we're going to head down to the bottom corner here and do the headland which we don't need our markers for like so bring it around and then we'll just back it up this we can do from outside oh yeah wow we're absolutely oh, now having to no, that's not going to work. And get the edge of this cedar on the edge of the field. There we go. That is not a straight headland by any means. Better than uh, than when we started it, though. There we go. I think we'll go round and bring it in like this. And away we go. So soybeans in here, cotton in our other field, and uh, and yeah, we're gonna go soybeans in our third. Uh, it's uh, to get any of the others would mean a change of header what I want to do is I want to get our first harvest from our own planted crops out of the way and once we've done that uh, what we can do is turn around and then invest in things like a new header to do sunflowers and corn um, or uh, well I don't I don't really want to buy a sugar beet um, harvester. We're not looking at the moment to do pigs or anything. Uh, we'd have to, again, we'd have to get a new cedar uh, to plant uh, stuff like wheat and things for that. Um, I would like to do cows, uh, which is why we're thinking of doing, uh, why I'm thinking of uh, keeping a fair amount of grass, uh, even when we build our new yard. But again, we're going to need straw from that and the moment we can't plant anything that will actually produce straw. But there we go. So that is that one done. I'll turn that off, fold it up. And we need to turn our lights down to go onto the road. And away we go. One last field to do uh, as the sun fades. Uh, let's go up to field four and get that one done. Up to field four and our last field of the day. Let's get that open up. Let's get our work lights all on. There we go. And 
and we want to get our divider out because we discovered that is the best way for us to go until we get GPS. Turn it on. Uh, we have soybeans and away we go. So we're down to 31%. Uh, as I said though, this is our smallest field. So it should be enough seed, I think, uh, putting soybeans in here. Uh, in order for us to get this field complete. Uh, quite good, I think we are. As far as this goes. This is, this is the thing, is that uh, trying to get everything done in the day, we absolutely need to, uh, to have this like so that is going to catch on that tree isn't it yes so let's fold that up get our corner then we fold it out there we are and line ourselves up and away we well no, let's reverse up and get ourselves in a better position right there we go and uh Away we go. Absolutely perfect. Again, we can line ourselves up here on the camp, but as I said, it's easier to, to sort of line myself up along the nose. Uh, so yeah, it's it's fairly dark, and I know it's a little bit hard for you guys to see. Uh, I'm going to get this field knocked out uh, so that we can get things finished. Last row before the headlands and it's now 20 to 9 in game uh, so things are getting a little bit dark uh, but uh, fairly well the sky is fairly well contrasted still uh, but yeah so this has been a, a job that has, uh, has taken most of the day between this and the uh, potato harvest speaking of which the potato harvest is still ongoing uh, course play is uh, is mucking up uh, as course play likes to do. So uh, we're going to get this sorted. I'm then going to I'm probably going to see if I can get that potato harvest finished uh, off camera, simply because uh, it's a bit of a pain in the butt. And uh, and yeah, I was hoping that it was going to finish in the background of recording this. But, uh, yeah, best laid plans and all that. But we will finish off getting this planted anyway. Uh, whoop. Let's turn it on. There we go. So we can get up to the edge of the field, maximise our coverage. Yeah, that's working nicely. This will then give us a very, very good setup. Actually, yeah, I've just seen. So the agro truck seems to be, uh, yeah, things seem to be going okay at the moment. Hopefully, the agro truck won't get in the way of our cedar anymore. I'm uh, sorry, of our potato harvester anymore. And that will just finish off that job. Uh, it certainly seems to take its time. You know, we have planted three fields in the time that that has uh, tried to finish off that field. Uh, which is not great, but that contract is worth about 40000 So hopefully, by the time we come back next time, uh, that will be done and dusted. And we can get the money from it. There we go. Or it may be something we finish while we're uh, while we're waiting for this stuff to grow. Lower this down. There we go. Bring it into the field a little bit. And that, as they say, is pretty much that. Yeah. In fact, there we go. Coming up to the end. Pull this round here. 
And we're done. There we are. So that is uh, us done for the day. Um, so, uh, yeah, we achieved quite a bit. We've got our soy beans in. We've got our cotton in. Uh, the potatoes still seem to be having a little bit of trouble getting out of the ground. Uh, but we'll go and have a look at that. For now, though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.